If you're planning on spending Mother's Day in the Bemidji area, you might want to take that special woman in your life to the Bemidji Chorale Spring Concert. For this week's In Focus, Mal Meyer caught up with the group during their final dress rehearsal to hear about what makes this year's performance so special. Since 1979, the Bemidji Chorale has gone through a gamut of changes. Overseeing it all is one of the original singers and now conductor, Patricia Mason. Literature changes, community changes, our audience changes, um, singers changes. This year, the chorale is switching it up a bit with a little bit of something for everyone in the lineup. We've got things from all over the world. We've got things from Scotland and Germany and South America, I think, or Mexico, and a whole lot of music just to enlighten the soul. It's been a frenzied couple of weeks as they finished up one performance and moved on to the next. We kind of had to shelve our Mother's Day things for a little while to concentrate on Messiah. So now that we're back working on them, we had to stay a little longer and come a little earlier. Further restricting their practices is everyone's schedules. Not an easy feat to get all the doctors, lawyers, teachers, retirees, and more all together at once. We only meet once a week for, you know, about two hours. So it's remarkable that we can put this together. But for Lori Road, who joined the chorale this year, it was worth it to make time for it. After years of singing in college at Bemidji State University, she wanted to continue pursuing music in some form or another. After going through the program, you work so hard to develop these vocal skills. It just seemed like the natural thing to do to join and be able to continue to sing with fantastic people. She hopes people will come see her perform only in sleep, one of her favorites in the show. And not just because I'm singing the solo, um, because it is a truly gorgeous piece, very reflective, and takes you back to childhood. The chorale will kick off the free concert at 7.30 p.m. at the Bow Arts Ballroom on the BSU campus. In Bemidji, with this week's In Focus, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.